Hello everyone, my name is Ali al -Sumail. I'm an undergrad computer engineering student studying at WSU Pullman and I'm currently working at uh, WSU, WSU Irrigated Agriculture Research and Extension Center in Dr. Coates lab. Uh, this project is sponsored by Agate and it's irrigation control using uh, two types of sensors, sap flow and soil moisture. The motivation behind this project is to prevent water wasting in irrigation and to control uh, crops taste by applying specific amount of water. Of water. Uh, to know how much water we need to apply, uh, we must consider how much water is available in a soil and how much water is available in a plant's uh, stem or trunk. And to measure these values or the values related to them, we need sensors. The system doesn't exist, and uh, the sensors that do exist, they cost a lot. So Dr. Coat and the smart farm engineers who I work with, uh, they decided to use uh, the aerometer's watermark sensor and the tritoscope subflow sensor. The watermark sensor is the soil moisture sensors uh, that measure how much uh, water is being absorbed by a plant from its root and the sap flow sensor measures how much sap or water is in the xylem of a plant. My task is to design a system in which the two sensors operate and collect data uh, in a vineyard uh, to be analyzed later. Uh, the results could lead us to develop a relationship between uh, graves taste and the amount of water applied in irrigation and it also could lead us to uh, produce higher quality fruits in the future. When designing the watermark uh, sensor system, I had to consider that each grapevine had uh, a root in with different depths uh, underground. So I had to, uh, to to have two sensors in my circuit. Uh, that's challenging because I cannot have two sensors directly connected to each other. Uh, what's also challenging is that uh, no sensor should be connect, have a ground connection. And besides that, the, the powering of the sensor is, needs a special technique. Uh, to power up the sensor, we need to apply short electrical pulse, uh, pulses uh, with reversing the direction in less than 50 milliseconds. To solve that, I designed uh, the system consists of uh, Adafruit uh, feather microcontroller with built-in LoRa technology, two sensors, two resistors, and an operational amplifier, and a diode. Uh, the microcontroller supplies electrical current with a voltage of 3.3 volts, uh, then it switches the direction, as I mentioned before, in less than 50 milliseconds. It takes a measurement of the voltage drop and converts it to resistance, then converts it to pressure. These pressure values are uploaded to a cloud called TTN or the Things Network. It's a cloud that supports uh, Adafruit devices using LoRa. LoRa is just a wireless uh, communication technology. It's like Wi-Fi or cellular, but uh, it's faster and it operates over wider range. Then I added the op-amp, the operational amplifiers. It amplifies the voltage slightly, but it's mainly used to separate the two sensors from each other. I connected the negative uh, side of the op-amp to a diode, then to ground. The diode just prevents uh, current from flowing in the opposite direction and affecting the measurements. This is what the final product look, looks like. Uh, the box contains the microcontroller, uh, the battery, uh, a circuit board, and antenna to send data to the cloud. Uh, the stick is the sensor. Uh, this image only shows one sensor because we are testing it, but the other sensor would be at the other side of it, connected at the other side of it. So to understand the data that we obtain from these sensors, I had to use uh, uh, the data sheet uh, the manufacturer provided. And as you can see, that's what they provided. Uh, actually, I installed the sensor in a blueberry uh, field, and when the soil was dry, I 
I got values of around 30, a little bit more than 30. Uh, and when it was irrigated, uh, the value dropped to 10 and between 10 and 12. Later, I start working on the sap flow sensor. The challenge with it is that I was not provided with any background information from the manufacturer. So I was only informed that it consists of uh, two parts, a resistor, which acts as a heater and a thermistor. Uh, so a, health, a heat pulse is, uh, uh, or sorry, an electrical pulse uh, is provided uh, to, the, to the heater once every one hour and it lasts for two minutes maybe then the thermistor measures the temperature over this one hour cycle uh, this temperature measurements could be later uh, changed to sub flow mass measurement uh, by engineers who work with the heat transfer uh, the data is stored in sd memory card to be analyzed later and uh, Hopefully, someone will use it in the future. Uh, to make a solution for that, I had to start a new design because uh, there was nothing provided. I had to look at the sap flow sensor while it's connected to its manufacturer circuit. Uh, I identified connections between the electrical components on the circuit and the sensor using a digital multimeter, which is a, a device that uh, can identify wired connections. The heater was connected to a battery, followed by a voltage follower, which is a buffer used to eliminate uh, the unwanted electrical signals and to make sure the current is uh, stable when it's supplied to, when it's, uh, supplied to the heater. Uh, I ordered the required components and built the circuit. It's straightforward. Uh, the battery supplies voltage to the uh, supplies power I mean to a voltage follower the voltage follower makes sure that the voltage is stable and it supplies it to the resistor or the heater the sensor take measurement and a small voltage is applied from the microcontroller to the sensor it takes a voltage measurement then convert it to resistance then convert it to temperature this is what the final product looks like. It's not packaged in an installable box because I'm still adding few improvements to it, uh, but it will be installed soon, hopefully. Uh, to conclude, uh, these, two, these two types of sensors will be installed to collect temperature data and moisture data for uh, under different conditions. And I think for a period of maybe one to two years, then the data will be analyzed and an accurate irrigation method will be created for grapes. I would like to thank uh, Jacob Schrader, Srikanth Gorthy and Shafiq Karaga for their help with this project. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Kurt and everyone who works in his lab for their help. And I would like to thank everyone from Agate for their help, support and time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for attending. Thank you for your time.